Hey you, it's Jess and Heidi here and welcome back um, or welcome if you're new here we are going through our September kits and are you gonna lie on the side? Don't lie on the kits please. Okay. <laughs> um, if you watch my Monday pre-plan with me you already know that Heidi was with us at the very end. She got on the table twice and well I just uh, chucked her off to start this video and back again she is so I don't think we're gonna be able to get rid of her right now <laughs> it's one hour until dinner time and here she is begging so we're gonna show you what I got kit wise for September going on and it's pretty silly um, <laughs> September 1st or 2nd I think they may have changed it to first but it's supposed to be the second the new Lord of the Rings TV show, Rings of Power, is coming out. Um, it is based on the Second Age, so it's like a prequel to the movies Lord of the Rings. So you have Lord of the Rings, and then before that you have The Hobbit, and then before that you have the Second Age, and before that you have this First Age. Um, but they sadly don't have any rights to the First Age. Though I believe they were given some... Uh, access to first stage because of the show. I think they, it was said the Tolkien estate really liked how the show was going. So they may have actually some more stuff and apparently the first two episodes are supposed to show the first stage. So that should be fun. Um, but because of that, the week of, <laughs> um, the first week of September is that weekend. Uh, I do, I'm using my Golden Woods kit, which I think that plan with me will be going up late because I don't have the kit yet. Um, but as we go into September, I am going to use this excuse to use all of my Lord of the Rings kits. So first we have Golden Woods. Can you go this way? This will give us room to look at kits. Alright. <laughs> okay, now I got a little like belly here. But so first of all, the first week of uh, for the first full week of September, I'm using the Lord of the Rings kit from Oddloop. And the full boxes don't fit into these pages, so I thought I'd bring them out. And here it is, how beautiful. Um, I just love it. It's so pretty. And you have the golden wood, because, well, sorry, golden woods <laughs> of my kit. But a lot of this stuff is actually built during the Second Age, during this Rings of Power show. So eventually we're probably going to see the creation of Minas Tirith and Helm's Deep, Rivendell, Barad-dûr, um, the Argonath, Rohan. It all gets built up. Um, Lothorian, even Hobbiton is later on. I think Hobbiton's more third age altogether, but all these places don't exist at the start of the second age and they come into fruition during it. So. I'm excited for that, but yeah, I'm gonna use this. I got the first page and the second page with the really fun bottom washi of the fellowship with Bill, so cute. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really fun. I wanted to actually use it in my main plan planner, but it doesn't fit in those things. So it's sitting safe in the back here, um, but for functional wise, Andrew is very kind and baby. She made these functionals for like her odd lip kits and stuff to use in her um, work planner. So it doesn't have quite enough stickers for my bean planner. So I asked her if I could have a few more copies of them and she kind of did that for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna see what we actually have here. Um, Cause of course I need them for my main plan with me, my main plan is so I need, so I do only have like two of these, um, and then I have some check boxes which I probably won't use but okay I have three then I think, I think I have three of every color, and I haven't looked at this. Um, and then maybe I will, yeah, so I have three of every color, and I feel like that might be enough. 
Obviously, I wouldn't have any passions, but that's okay. Um, I'm, if I have to, I might cut up these full hot check boxes. But yeah, here's the colors. Let me put it in order. So your dark purple and the light purple. We have the tan, and they have the green. So I have those from SPC. Those are not in shop. So something Audrey made for herself and then made me some copies of it. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of silver because of the way the boxes and the bottom washi are. I didn't really want to bring in any full box overlays or bottom wash overlays. But I have these sparkles that I thought would be pretty over the top because I don't have deco either. So I'd sprinkle this over the top, layer it over so we'll have some sparkles along the top and then I have some date numbers from SPC um, for the date covers and then I have these star caress press glitter header covers just to bring in a pop and I think the stars will be perfect like the magical um, thing of the Lord of the Rings stuff so that is for that week it'll be interesting <laughs> it's going to be um, different but we're going to try it out and I really do want to use this kit in my main planner. Then the next week of September we have my fellowship art from SPC that I drew last year. Um, and I thought this one was a bit more autumn leaning so we're getting a bit more. I mean I think all of them are basically. Lord of the Rings from Odd Loop is pretty like neutral but the other two golden woods in this one are a lot more autumn. But because Golden Woods is Rings of Power themed, I wanted to use it that week. And then I'll use Fellowship later. But yeah, I wanted to use Fellowship again. I did buy three of them at the time. Um, and out of the shops that I buy kits from, only SPC used it. So that's where we get another SPC one here. But I have looked up. I used this last year. And I'm going to change it up and do completely different stuff with it this year but you see how pretty and all to me although I thought it could be late summer as well so pretty so I'm looking forward to using that again last year I mixed I used a mix of gold and um, a green foil and I used a specific number of boxes so I'm going to change my boxes up but this time I'm just going to use straight up gold so I have this confetti bundle from SPC just in the straight confetti. Just simple, but we're going to switch out this bottom washi for this one from Sticky Essentials. Um, it says even the smallest person can change the course of the future, which is about the Hobbits, Frodo and Bilbo. I think it's mostly about Bilbo, but he's also saying it to Frodo, but also Sam and Mary and Pippa, they're all kind of important throughout the story, so I thought that was super cute with the, um, the swords in there, and then again, an extra little sword, which I should, I'll put in. Maybe I'll put, I'll use a black um, monthly sticker, and I'll put this over the top, and then put the black monthly on top of that. That could be really cool. And then she also had these amazing quotes, which I just love. How it's just beautiful. The per fonts are perfect. We have not all those who wander are lost, which is in the kit. So we'll see about, but I might use one of these other ones. Oh, I'm going to use this one for sure from Sam. There are some good left in this world and it's worth fighting for. I feel like, especially this year and well, the last couple of years, honestly, this has been very, very true and very needed. Uh, and then I do want to use the Minds of Moria somewhere. I don't know what, where I could fit that. I kind of want to put mine some more in. I don't know if I should actually... Um, I might actually put this with my Rings of Power. i am also got this double box just in case I need it. But I don't think I'm going to use the tall box this time because I did last time. And that will let me use a few more of these full boxes then. One second, because I'm using um, with Rings of Power Golden Woods, I'm using Gold and Champagne Hollow. And the Mines of the Door for the Mines of Mori is actually created in the Second Age with Celebrimbor, who is going to be a major character in Rings of Power. Um, 
I think I'm going to use that in here because it's a perfect little reference to that. So I'm excited. So I'm going to use that this week and then I'll transfer for that quote to the fellowship week. So yes, I'm glad I looked at that because I think that'll be perfect. And I think there's some boxes I can definitely use that with. All right, so then we finish up. That's all the Lord of the Rings I have. <laughs> I shall stop with the nerdiness, but then we're gonna do a couple of autumns before we get into Halloween. So I wanted to put this food and wine festival into my lineup this year because I drew it last, last year and I didn't get a chance to use it. And then she did this really good reformat, which I think looks beautiful. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Finally using this. I don't think I'm going to a food festival, but I think it's just a fun food scented autumn kit. And we got I got the toolbox for that. She's so pretty. And it's just like really nice. Um, I think it lends well into being after the Lord of the Rings stuff. Because we still have the sort of oranges and greens. So I think that would be really fun to pull in. Yeah, and then um, I decided to use this dark copper, almost orange foil from Caress Press. I tried to pull in some of the copper a la carte that I had from SPC, which is like two years old now. But this one's a bit more orange based copper than that. So I think this is more of a dark copper. Um, so I'm just going to use what's in here. And I don't think I'm going to put a full box of the toolbox or anything, so that's fine. Uh, but this is just Shimmer from Caress Press in that sort of copper, sort of burnt orange copper color. And I think that will be perfect with this kit. Um, you see there. It goes perfectly with this color, I think. So I think that will be great. And we have like a little bit less foil on this week, like the Lord of the Rings one. Nothing wrong with that. So that is that week, and then the last week of September, we are using last chapter from Caress Press, which was from last year. And I've been holding on to it since then. It came out super late in the season, and I just didn't have room for it. Um, all right, Heidi. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to finally use it. I've been waiting all year to use it. It's just a really pretty book kit, and I just love the colors. I love the way this lit up sign, like the colors of it looks with the black building and roses. And again, I've just been loving all the book related kits this year because I've been reading up a storm. I think I've read 14 books so far this year, which is a lot for me. So, <laughs> um, and of course it's also related to like Lord of the Rings in the sense of books. Uh, but also I've been reading a lot of other fantasy. So it is an old format. But we will survive <laughs> because it's super pretty and I've been waiting for it. So I'm just going to pull in a simple bundle from SBC. This is Sparkle in Rose and I thought that'd be perfect. It perfectly goes with like this pink color. So Sparkle, we just have your typical designs. Super nice. So I think that'll be nice as well. We've got some simple foils for the last of the month. And then you can see here the start of my Halloween, which again is another kit from last year, but that I didn't get a chance to use. But that is my September lineup. Sorry we're like squished over to this one side, but we have a last chapter. We have Food and Wine Festival. We have Fellowship. And we have the Odd Loop, Lord of the Rings. Um, and this is pretty much all of, um, I'm going to do some like later stage autumn stuff in November and then we're going to get into, I think I'm only going to do like four Christmas spreads this year. Um, but yeah, I want to try and use as much autumn as I can, even though it's still warm. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> um, and again, we have Golden Woods on that very first weekend of September. But that is my September lineup. Oh. This is the monthly. You'll see that next week I'll do the monthly plan with me um, for September, the start of September. And that is just from Crash Price called Krem, which was in my recent haul. Don't play with that cable, Heidi. Um, stop it. Okay. 
she's getting rowdy. So let's finish up this video. That is it. So look forward to seeing those spreads in action. Probably the only thing is we might have a week uh, off of one of those weeks because one Wednesday will be empty because I won't have the Golden Woods kit yet, I don't think, in time. And then I'll have two Plan With Me's up one of those weeks so you can catch up and see the Golden Woods spread. But otherwise, yeah, I'm looking forward to September. I'm hoping for cooler weather and a good TV show to watch and enjoy and do some more reading and get into autumn. But otherwise, let me know what you got planned for September. Are we doing any twinning? I, I don't see you. I probably won't, but let me know nonetheless. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful month of September, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you. Bye.